I want to suggest that there are uh, the implicit bias is like a cataract. It's a social cataract. Implicit biases, those things about people that I oftentimes don't even recognize uh, form my biases, but those things about people that make them invisible for me. Many people have experiences, certainly as African Americans, where they have felt invisibilized. This healthcare system for many people has been a place where people have felt invisibilized. COVID-19 in particular has highlighted the ways in people which people have been invisibilized. But there are other biases as well, and, and ethnicity, gender identity, um, body type, hair texture, so many things that just in the course of living life, we develop biases. We don't necessarily think about it. It's not like we wake up in the morning and say that I'm just not gonna be nice to an old person, but the bias gets in the way of us seeing individuals and appreciating individuals. And so much of our work is to undo our own isms. And one thing that I've learned is that we all have our isms. And the ongoing work is to identify my isms, to, uh, to work on those isms, to have other people hold me accountable around those isms. That is a critical piece of actually seeing people. And there's no arena that's more important in our capacity to see people is in the context of medicine. Mm -hmm.